Howdy everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a shave with the Big Four's Carnival of Sin. So, who is the Big Four? The Big Four is actually uh, the wet shaving store. Elysian, I believe it's Elysian, Elysian Soap Shop, Razor Ray Designs, and Smiles for Miles. And I did get the trifecta, so today's frag will be beautiful artwork. The Carnival of Sin EDP. Today's aftershave will be the Carnival of Sin aftershave. Splash, and it does have alcohol in it. Using the new Smiles for Miles soap scoop. Beautiful. And it works really well, too. Sorry about the band-aid, I know. Very cool. And again, to match the color set, we'll be using the First Line Shave Life and Death brush. G5 C Knot Turnings by Tansy. I believe it's Tansy. I hope it's Tansy. And then uh, for the razor, the Manscaped, sorry, Manscaped The Plow 2.0. It's basically a Edwin Jagger DE89 clone. I think I said that before in another video. And the blade, the Wilkinson Sword Classic. Yes, this is actually a really good pairing. Uh, a little bit more aggressive than the DE89, but uh, works really, really well. We'll be mixing that up in the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Dreamscape Scuttle. That's how much we'll be using. That's probably too much, but I like to use uh, quite a bit just to, I mean, I like to use as little as possible, but for this one, I kind of smushed it down. It, when it spread, it kind of made it look like it was a lot of it, uh, a lot. Wow, this is amazing. This is a bang of a scent, guys. I mean, really it is. Um, I'm just gonna read you the notes here while you take a look at this. The color, look at the color, first of all. Look at that color, beautiful. Looks like the crater of, of the moon, or a crater of the moon, or the surface of the moon. Looks really cool. Scent profile, candy apple, caramel corn, candy, leather, tobacco, sex, hay, smoke, fire, metallic, lotus, black orchid, and whiskey. Definitely get the, it's almost incense-y in a way. Um, I definitely get the metallic scent and you can definitely, a little bit of apple. It really is amazing. It's it's it doesn't smell like anything else that I've ever quite smelled as far as a soap scent fragrance goes, especially the uh, EDP. I mean, this is really the star of this trifecta. It it lasts for quite a while. Smells great. Has an excellent dry down. You don't need a lot. It projects very very well. And uh, if you like, you know, incense and campfire, a little bit of smokiness. Uh, a little bit of that whiskey and leather type of sense, then you you will like this. You will absolutely like this. I think this is great for fall and colder weather. And uh, yeah, so brush has been soaking. Again, even though we don't really need to, it's a synthetic knot, but uh, we're gonna drain the brush. And we are gonna get mixing, get lathering. So this is my first Elysian soap. And I've noticed so far with this that it, it lathers really well. You don't have to fight with it. You just uh, use a decent amount of water and it can take it. And it's not a struggle, especially with the synthetic knots. And 
and it smells great too. The soap, when you're lathering it up, starts to take on a transformation of, of different scent, scent notes. The, you can definitely pick up the apple and you can definitely pick up the coming along and you can definitely pick up the little bit of the, le the leather of the tobacco. I like to really build up my lather so it's nice and uh, thick, kind of like a sour cream consistency. A, uh, you know, a um, yogurt type consistency. All right. Just gonna wet, rinse the face. No uh, pre-shave today. Just going with just the soap because it really does hydrate the skin. I will leave a list of the ingredients down below in the description of this video. All right, this is a throwaway shirt. <laughs> I got it going everywhere right right now. I mean, take a look at that. You can see just how much hydration is in, is really in here. All right, so we're gonna do uh, two passes today. I'm gonna go uh, with the grain and then against the grain. Let's do this. Still nice and slick.
And sorry if the camera keeps going in and out of focus and trying a different uh, a different uh, focusing mode in this video. I love how dark of a scent this is. I mean, it's not it's not overtly dark, but it is definitely a darker scent pro profile. And I really like this, um, the uh, Welcome to the Sword Classic Blades. I have the Saloon and the Classic, but the, uh, the Classic are really nice. All right, first pass is done. Let's rinse off and go for the second. Very, very slick. So if you don't know who Smiles for Miles is, he has a store on Etsy and turns out some amazing brushwork. Does uh, earplugs, you know, I used to, I used to have uh, gauges in my ears that were, I forget the sizing, but they were pretty big. Does earplugs, does uh, duck collar, um, and what he's really getting into is the fragrance game. So putting out fragrances, Elixir M is about to drop. And he's working on the blues and mod and three wise men. So a bunch of new fragrances coming out. And that's awesome. Uh, and what from what I gather, they're going to all be really good because Carnival of Sin is really, really good. And Razor Ray did the artwork, which is phenomenal for this. <laughs> I love this artwork. So cool. And I don't know if you can see this, but I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but let's see how close we can get. Take a look at this. I'll point it out. Here you have, uh, hang on, let's use the uh, Smiles for Miles scoop. Here, whoop, trying to do it backwards. Here you have, it says Razor Ray, for Razor Ray Designs. Then you have the Elysian Dragonfly here for the uh, their logo. Then you have the, sorry, I'm trying not to move too much. Then you have the Smiles for Miles logo right here, right? And then on her forearm, you have the Wet Shaving Store logo right there. And then here, where are we? Sorry, where? Oh, I don't know if it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but here. Uh, sorry, I know you're you're hating me. Right here on the tree. There, there's a four. Can you see that? If I stop moving, I'm trying to get it out of the glare so you can see. Oh, there it is. Right there. Four. See it? On the tree? <laughs> right there. Very cool. All four of them. The big four on, on all their uh, logos on this really, really cool artwork. That's awesome. I love little, I love little uh, Easter egg things like that. I mean, it's not really an Easter egg because it's the actual artwork, but still really cool. And I love that this uh, Dreamscape scuttle keeps the lather warm. So the soap base for this is, i uh, leave the ingredients down below. It is a tallow-based soap, beef tallow, grass-fed. And it's great. I mean, still, right now, it's a little dry because I've been talking, but like this side is still kind of slick. And let's not forget the wet shaving store. So you have Elysian soap. Smiles for Miles, The Wet Shaving Store, and Razor Ray Designs.
Look at that consistency. Wow. So yeah, Smiles for Miles, Elysian Soap, Resurre Designs, and the Wet Shaving Store. If you don't know Andy, great guy, really, really cool, uh, very intelligent, wealth, a uh, treasure trove of knowledge, runs the Wet Shaving Store. I'll have the link for that down below. It is a affiliate, <clears throat> a link, and I have an affiliate code, Shave Away Sully. Right here. If you want to use that, that helps me so that I get a little bit of a kickback and allows me to pick up more items so that I can continue showcasing them to you guys. And you know, I'm just one guy. Beginning, kind of in the beginning thralls of my wet shaving journey. But everybody has an opinion. And it's always good to hear feedback from everybody. All right, let's go against the grain. I'm sure you can hear that feedback. It's actually pretty loud on my end. Trimming up the stash. Stash is growing good for November. Movember. Not really itchy. I'm using some of uh, focus. Hang on. Using some of Smiles Elixir, the grooming oil that just came out. He's got some uh, amazing stuff in this bottle. It really works well. It's just a multi-purpose grooming oil that you can use. All right. Oh, still gotta do the bottom. I'm 
a little bit more lather, took a little bit more time talking. All right. Really nice. Let's rinse off and see if we need any pickups. This is really slick stuff. Really, really slick stuff. All right. <clears throat> we haven't added any water to this lather and I'll show you how much is still here. Like I said, what I put in the bottom of the bowl was probably too much. Sorry if the camera keeps going in and out of focus, like I said. But look at this. Very nice consistency. Soap performs. It definitely performs. Elysian soap is, uh, the soap base is a good base. It works really well. All right, a couple pickups. And then we are done. We will use the splash. Very hydrating. Very, very nice. Got to be extra careful on my neck. Just go really, really slow. Very nice. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Let's do the final rinse off and I will give you my final thoughts.
quite a bit of stubble left. I don't think that's the uh, soap's fault or anything. I, I think that's the, uh, the Wilkinson blade. So let me just add some water. I mean, I really didn't need to add water. This thing is still whipping up just fine. But it's always good to add a little extra hydration. And Razor Ray has done a bunch of different uh, artwork designs for people. Um, here's, a, here's a few that he's done. Very cool, very cool stuff. All right, last couple pickups here. Gonna flip the hat around for this one. Hope you guys can hear that. Much nicer. Oh, I think I got myself. Nice, yep, I dig it myself. Just a little neck. The Allen would take care of that easily. Okay, now, final rinse off, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, what I think about this. Utilizing the PAA Allen block, of course. Well, that's good, no real stinging. Nothing crazy, nothing really jumping out. And so this is my first time with the Elysian soap base and regardless of this uh, kind of collaboration, I really like the soap base, it's really nice. Provides a nice structure and uh, very, very moisturizing when it's applied to the face. It didn't feel like it was drying out at all. Good stuff. Just waiting for the alum to dry completely before I rinse it off. So, uh, just show you, see if we can show you the ingredients here. Yeah. So, there you go. And what I love about this is that um, 
it really does leave a sheen across the skin and allows it to heal really, really quickly. But it also, hours later, makes it nice and velvety soft. Just letting some of the alcohol evaporate. Mmm. Smells so good. Smells really good. You really get the candy apple. The candy apple and all of the, you know, smoky. I get the smoky note. I get the metallic note. Very incense -y. If you like incense, you'll love this. I hate when it gets in between your fingers. All right, and then we'll top off with the EDP. Beautiful artwork. I like to rub it on, I like to spray on the top of my hands and kind of rub it in and then put it on the wrists. hot spots because then you can smell your smell how it smells on your wrist throughout the day see how it transforms what the dry down is like and then your hands you usually kind of extend towards people when especially when you're in a store and everything so the tops of the hands is usually facing most people most of the time rather than your wrists are we kind of don't walk around and hand stuff like this I mean maybe but not really so like I said the big four carnival of sin Razor Ray, Designs, Smiles for Miles, Elysian Soap. This is a really good trifecta, guys. This is really good. The scent's amazing. Uh, the EDP is awesome. The aftershave is really, really good. It leaves a, an amazing post-shave feeling. And the ingredients are, are minimal and, and work. I mean, they work really well. I had a great shave. And if you can get this, I highly recommend you do. Now, you won't see this artwork anymore. This is a one-time deal artwork. So if you trade with somebody for it, maybe you can get the, the, this, collector's, um, you know, this collector's artwork. But uh, they are doing new artwork next time. So it will be a different piece. And just to show you guys, love this Turnings by Tansy brush. This is, again, the Life and Death set number two of eight for first line shave just to show you how much is actually still in this knot I'm not pulling on the knot by the way I'm just squeezing pretty good amount I mean it lathers up really well the soap is great and look it, it's if it even comes across it's blue it's like it got a blue blue hue, a blue tint to it, just like the pour, or not pour, the scoop, soap. Very cool, very cool. Again, thank you guys so much for joining uh, me on this shave, stopping by my channel. I appreciate it. Looking forward to new releases for the Big Four. You can find them at, again, exclusively the Wet Shaving Store. Use my link below. It'll be in the description. You can also use my code, Shave Away Sully. It just gives me a small kickback so that I can continue to pick up products to showcase them to you. Again, thanks so much for stopping by and don't forget, shave away.